What's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to install a new air cleaner on my 2016 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. This is all part of season two of the Road Glide Refresh project. And it was pretty much all about blacking out the rest of the bike this season. So I took off all the chrome, brought it to powder coat. I decided to do a different air cleaner, different handlebars, and a couple other things. So that stuff was purchased. I've got most of my parts now. I'm waiting on a few things that are on back order, but nothing that's going to hold us up anymore at this point. Uh, handlebars are in, grips are in, air cleaners here. So we're ready to start throwing this thing together. And that's a good thing because the weather has become really nice all of a sudden. It was nice, then it was horrible again. And now, as of today, it's nice again. So. I might be jumping the gun and getting too excited, but like spring has got to be here, right? Come on, Minnesota. What's up? I'm going to grab the air cleaner. We'll talk about that real quick and then uh, back to it. Let's get this opened up. I don't know if it'll be any fancy packaging or anything, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just tell you what it is. It looks like all just loose parts. So it's the Screaming Eagle Stage 1 kit from Harley Davidson. So that's cool. We've got, it even comes with a Screaming Eagle insert. I don't know if we're gonna put that on or not, but maybe, I don't know, why not? We, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what we decide to do. I still have my stock air cleaner cover, but it was chrome, so I just ordered a black one because it was after I'd already set my stuff off to powder coat, so. Anyway, that's, that's it right there. So that's what that looks like set that aside. All right, well, we've been talking enough. Let's get into this install. Begin by removing our breather bolts. We're basically just replacing that bracket we took off with this one and that's just simply going to hold these two wire harnesses. Now if you're not installing this exact kit it's going to be a little different more than likely, but just follow the instructions and the same, the basic concept is here. All right. These want to live at about 40 inch pounds. Which is like basically nothing. Next, we want to take our gasket and align that up with these holes. There's an adhesive on here, so we can just peel this off of the gasket. Line it up with our holes. And once she's lined up, we can press her into place. So they send four O-rings. So you wanna jam one in here Jam one into here. So these other O-rings go into the new breather screws that are included with the kit. Plop them in there like that. And the breather screws will go through the back plate like so. We need to dab. We need to dab those bolts with a little bit of blue Loctite. Apparently I need more of. Let's 
It's on my list. So they want you to screw these screws all the way through your back plate. And they'll go through and then they'll just be loose like this. They said to start these screws and just leave them, you know, but not tighten them. It's really hard to get to these to put Loctite on them if you do it that way. So I'll just hold everything together here for a minute because now we can get things started and start bringing this all in. These are 120 to 140 for this application anyways. 120 to 140 inch pounds right there. So again, not much, right? You know, an air cleaner is really one thing that you can do. You can pretty much do it on your own. And uh, it's good that there's shops with qualified people to do stuff, but it's also fun just to do something on your bike. I think I've always thought that way, which is what kind of led me down this path. And you know, the cool thing about these projects are you get to use every socket that you own because like, why would it all be the same size? I mean, we got seven sixteenths up here. We had, uh, we had half inch inside there. Now we're, now we're working with three eighths. We had T25 Torx bit going. You know, so, and why not? Like, you paid for this stuff, right? You should, you should be able to use every socket for a job like this. <laughs> so we're going 60 inch pounds on these. So we have this spacer bit and that goes in the center of this rubber grommet deal. That goes on just like this. I wish it stayed better, but it's fallen out on me a couple times, so you kind of need to hold it. I mean, did I tell you we're using different size tools for for every bolt on this bike or on this air cleaner job? Now, before anybody says anything, there is a screen element that goes in here. I have it, but the parts that hold the screen into place are on back order and I do not have those. So at least the way they explained it to me, that's how it went. Anybody want to guess what the torque spec is on this big bolt? We're already over 60 inch pounds. It's nothing. Does anybody remember at the beginning of the video where I talked about an insert? There it is. Do I want it? Not really. I want to do an insert. I just don't know if I want this one. It does have the orange and it does match my powder coat perfectly. It's like it was meant to be almost, I don't know. I mean, I can always change it later, right? <laughs> We're gonna do it. It kind of ticks me off that that orange matches up so good because I was not gonna use this insert at all. I was gonna try to find something else that I liked better, but it's easy enough to swap out if I ever choose to. I gotta step back and get a look at this. Should probably have some coffee while I'm while I'm doing that. So if I'm being a hundred percent honest, this isn't my favorite looking air cleaner on the market. I would have liked to go with like an SNS teardrop or something. These are good air cleaners for the Harley Davidson motor. As far as airflow and things like that, you know what you're getting. So I think it's cool. 
stage one Harley Davidson air cleaner, Screaming Eagle, boom, there it is. Done. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like this air cleaner? Are you installing the same one? Is that why you're watching this video? I don't know. I'll do, maybe I'll do a review on it or something. I don't know what I can tell you about an air cleaner, but I mean, it's on the bike now, so. <laughs> It'll be cool to see how it looks once the tank and everything's on there, I think. And just how overall the whole bike looks when it starts coming together. Like kind of interesting doing things piece by piece, you know, for a video and then We'll probably do like an unveiling at the end or whatever, like, ooh, look, look, look. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys want to see? Let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's going to do it for this one. Y'all stay safe out there as always. Check back because as you can see, we got a lot more stuff happening. New bars, new signal lights. We're doing new grips, new mirrors, everything. We'll be doing different gauge uh, different bezels for the gauge clusters. I've got three of the four. One is floating around somewhere. I have no idea in Harley Davidson land, but that's coming from Harley. So it won't take long now. Once I get the handlebars on, especially that was kind of what I was waiting for because I'm like, I can't put my exhaust back on or anything till I extend, you know, cause I'm putting in i uh, uh, I'm putting in a new clutch cable. So I didn't want to put the exhaust on and then have that all in my way. So the handlebars have been holding me up, but I've got all that taken care of now. All the parts are in. So once I get the handlebars on, this thing's going to go together pretty quick. The only other hang up I'll have is maybe the exhaust, if that gives me any hassle. But I've already had it on and off once, so I don't think it'll be bad at all. Anyways, we got a new MacBook, so I'm going to try it out and edit this video. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.